Hello, today I'm going to review a PLA filament from 3D Fuel called Workday PLA. So stick around uh, and see after the intro what, what's the deal. <laughs> so to start with, uh, this filament was given to me by 3D Fuel. I met them at Murph uh, this year in Goshen, Indiana, and I was really happy to talk to these guys. I've been having this filament sometimes in the Maker Box samples and I always had good results and was telling them about that and they decided to give me this t-shirt and, and the filament, but other than that, no money exchanged hand and the views in this video are totally mine. It's, it's not a paid review or something like that. <laughs> it's just a disclaimer I was given this filament, but um, overall, this filament is, uh, has been giving me good results. I've, I've got uh, quite a number of times filament from 3D Fuel on the Maker Box samples and always been happy with it. I um, was really happy to get a full roll to do a little bit more printing than the small samples from the Maker Box samples, even do not so much in the samples. <laughs> but this filament comes in, a, in this cardboard box with a lot of information. They have a, like strength information and durability, flexibility, heat, temperature information, and, and there's a lot of good useful information in the box. And as well, they have a printout of the mean diameter uh, and the average diameter and the ovality of it and then a graph of how the filament is uh, in diameter throughout the spool and uh, it's really uh, really accurate uh, diameter the average diameter is 1.749 and um, that's so that's really close and ovality is on average 0 0.012 and the diameter uh, throughout the print is, is maybe plus minus two, uh, zero point, uh, zero point two or something. It's like uh, zero point one two or something. It's it's on the graph. It's a bit difficult to see on the graph, but it's really consistent that you can see on the on the graph. It's really consistent in filament in diameters. Uh, it comes it comes in this box and it comes in a one kilogram spool. Um, a normal spool and the stickers they say the this color is called autumn orange workday PLA 1.75 millimeters one kilo they have a lot number so if you have a problem with the, with the spool you got you can give them back the the number and they if they had some issues in the factory at the time they could uh, know but so it's cool to have like a unique serial number for this, for its spool but that's the spool, but let's have a look at the prints and see how they came out. So one of the first prints I normally do with filament is the string test. And I use it somewhat to test layer adhesion as, as well. And you can see there's a little tiny wisps of, of stringing. Uh, it's, it's very it's very subtle, but a little bit. Uh, but, uh, layer adhesion is it's somewhat decent, I think, for, for PLA. I tried to print it again with disabling C-hop and then the stringing was almost none. There was a maybe tiny, uh, tiny, very fine here. So it's like, it's like wisps uh, at the top and it's pretty common with PLA to have a like tiny wisps and maybe this filament has a little bit more uh, than, than some. That's a, that's a thing I can say about it, tiny, tiny wisps of, of, of stringing. But otherwise, it's pretty pretty strong and difficult to, to break. And I was doing a brake test on my brake test apparatus. <laughs> this one here, and I found it a little bit less uh, layer adhesion than my average PLA setting. So maybe layer adhesion is, is not the highest strength properties um, on the, the stringing. But I have more prints here. I did this test here, and it came out pretty good. Here is some bridging test, uh, came out excellent. Fine details on, uh, on the overhang tests came out excellent here. Um, the dome really smooth, um, and the side of the dome really smooth as well. So this was coming out really nice. Then did this bridging test, and this was coming out excellent. I sometimes have a little bit of drooping here on the longest strand, and there's like one strand you can see drooping. Uh, very often I have 
quite more. <laughs> so, so preaching performance was giving me, or preaching performance was really good. Um, here you can maybe see the, the small strings, the wisp of strings. So that's uh, that's uh, throughout the prints a little bit of strings, but um, preaching performance here was really good. Um, here I did the overhang tests. Um, they came out pretty nice. One was facing away from the fan, and one towards the fan. And the one that was away from the fan is a little bit more rough, but uh, this one came out excellent. This is uh, uh, really smooth and only small issue here in the corner. And the ends are pretty stable. If I get a lot of drooping, they are like fat here in the middle. I droop, but this one came out pretty good. Um, so bridging uh, uh, test was excellent and, and overhang performance pretty good. And then printed out Misty Belly and that came out excellent and really good. Uh, I got this drooping uh, small strand here. That's normally what I get for this model. It's a quite steep overhang. So it's nothing uh, uncommon <laughs> for PLA or other materials to have this uh, droop here. But otherwise than that, it came out pretty nice and uh, the color is really good and, and the uh, feel of the filament. I then did the Omnum model by Tessa and this one came absolutely great. Really cool, um, really like shiny and uh, good, good looking. <laughs> and absolutely no issues for this one. Um, here's the Otis model by Gareth, and um, this one is coming out excellent as well, really smooth. And the underneath here, the overhangs are really smooth, so you can see how shiny and smooth they are. It's really cool, so no issues with this print. And did Sir Layers a lot, and that came out excellent as well. Um, maybe some tiny wisps again, but other than that, really smooth and a really nice, nice print. Um, it's a really like dark orange color, um, I like it a lot. <laughs> uh, so this was coming out excellent. Um, Yolbot as well, absolutely no issues here, uh, just perfect print. Um, no issues, uh, one strand here, uh, but yeah, I, I broke the hand, <laughs> so <laughs> maybe, it, I don't know, I had this banging around in a in a container, um, maybe it had some damage, <laughs> but that's uh, something that happened. <laughs> but as you can see, maybe layer adhesion is, is not the not the strongest point of this filament. It's I've seen uh, normally for a PLA a little bit better layer adhesion. So breaking jaw, <laughs> poor jaw. <Joel. laughs> And I sometimes got comments and when I'm breaking my models, people are saying I'm, I'm too brutal. <laughs> but it's part of a test to see how it goes. And if I, if I find it too brittle, I, I notice it on the old pot and the and Mr. Belly, I pull the legs apart to see it on the, on the head to see how difficult it is. And, and so it's just part, part of the process to test the filament, to, to print out stuff, to break it. <laughs> So no hard feelings for Joel Bot or Mr. Belly. <laughs> it's just part, part of what I do. But then I printed this waste mod print. Um, I printed this with a one millimeter thick uh, layer and uh, not thick uh, white. So the ex uh, extrusion is with is one millimeter. Um, the purpose of this print is to see how consistent the filament is. If I get a lot of uh, layers visible or, or different types of surfaces, sometimes the filament, if it's not very consistent, it shows. But uh, on this print, it's absolutely perfect. It's so smooth. Absolutely no issues, whatever. Uh, um, you can see in the, the, in the light sends through it, it's really smooth. Um, it's very consistent and that tells me the, the manufacturing process is dialed in and getting consistent filament is the key for getting nice looking prints. Um, this is looking awesome so I'm quite happy with the consistency of, of this filament. Uh, it's, it's quite tough. Um, so it's, you know, I always end up breaking, I, I bend it until it breaks normally, <laughs> but normally it breaks at the, at the bottom. But this is looking awesome. So overall for this 3D Fuel PLA, Workday PLA, I was really happy with this filament. Uh, turns out to be very consistent in diameter and uh, getting really smooth and nice looking prints. 
Uh, the main concern is maybe a little bit uh, stringy than normal PLA. They're like fine wisps of strings and, and layer adhesion is maybe not as good as, as some PLAs. But other than that, it looks really cool and, and the color is very nice, like a deep orange color. And, uh, because of the consistent filament, the prints look really nice and, and for props and, and things like that that needs to be sanded and it saves a lot of time to have a, a consistent filament. So I look forward to try this filament a bit more and probably do a Star Wars model with this filament next to see how, how it goes in that process. But uh, overall I'm, I'm quite happy with this filament and you should give it a try if you have a chance to buy this filament. But this will be it for this video. I'm Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, please consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up and a comment if you have questions. But for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.